Hi Del Shakes fam, I'm Cassie and I'm so glad to bring you another installment of The Sonnet Project. So as my friend Eric so beautifully explained last time, Shakespeare is now addressing a new listener. And while in Sonnet 127 Shakespeare was wrestling with that affection, here in Sonnet 128 Shakespeare has surrendered to it. What I find so charming about this sonnet is it unites the spark of a new romance with a sense of maturity. So in this sonnet, Shakespeare is fantasizing about being an instrument that the listener is playing. And to me, that reads as very early days in a relationship, certainly pre-first fight, but perhaps even pre-first kiss. But there's also a sense of simplicity in this sonnet, which seems to me to be a symptom of confidence. <laughs> this is a speaker who has been in love before and is not hardened by that. So often in our society, we praise first love as being the best that one can ever experience. But I'd like to think we get better at loving with age and Sonnet 128 might agree. See what you think. How oft when thou, my music, music playest upon that blessed wood, whose motion sounds with thy sweet fingers, when thou gently swayest the wiry concord that my ear confounds, do I envy those jacks that nimble leap to kiss the tender inward of thy hand, whilst my poor lips, which should that harvest reap, at the wood's boldness by thee blushing stand, to be so tickled they would change their state and situation with those dancing chips or whom thy fingers walk with gentle gait, making dead wood more blessed than living lips. Since saucy jacks so happy are in this, give them thy fingers, me thy lips to kiss. Thanks for tuning in friends, take care.